No. Oh, why are you keep fucking up like that? Why? This one is right. This one right here is right. It's these fucking two. Ugh. Unless... No. Back. Almost. No. Whose fault is it? Eh, it's your fault. It's your fault. Had to be. Wait a minute. If I... Will that work? Possibly. No. Same result. Oh! Fucking annoying as Oh ho. Oh ho. God damn it. Aha. 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 I hate you. Well, fucking help her! Okay, I'm gonna save there in case I have to do something with her. So, wait a minute. One, two, eight, one. One, two, eight, one. All these fucking numbers. All these fucking code numbers mean absolutely no goddamn sense. One, two, eight, one. I'll dart your ass. I'll dart your ass, bitch. Come here. Don't move. And what do you think you're doing? Carving a name for myself in history with the ultimate energy source. Open your eyes, you freak. Your precious creation is nothing more than another weapon to be misused. <laughs> you seem to have 
have a small degree of superficial intelligence. It's too bad that it is wasted on one who is about to die. Gale comes in handy for something. Rick, our target has been secured. Report here immediately. Sorry to interrupt your lecture, Doc. You were saying? Yes. I was saying. I discovered how the third energy could affect space if it ran unchecked three years ago. I thought that the energy had the ability to transfer selective God, space frames. to an alternate time-space continuum. But I was incorrect. The space was not transferred, it was exchanged. To put it in terms that even you can understand, third energy has the ability to replace a pocket in space with one from a different time. What? Yes. I came to these conclusions following this evening's final experiment. You've seen the effects yourself. Those beasts were occupying the space this facility is located on almost 65 million years ago. Right. So that's how those dinosaurs appeared in our time. Precisely. And that is what I have done. Uh-huh. And how many people were sacrificed before you made this discovery? <laughs> <laughs> Who cares? The numbers are quite irrelevant. Let's just say that there were many. Extraordinary deaths for ordinary men, don't you think? Spoken like a true devil. A god or a devil? Hmm. I don't care about that. Only my experiment. Enough. Only one thing matters at this point. Your grand invention is blocking our escape. You need to destroy the Vortex. <laughs> the only way to do that is to allow the generator's third energy levels to overload. Theoretically speaking, the third energy and the Vortex will cancel each other out if they come in contact with one another. But there is one small catch. If you cannot stop the generator's third energy overload, this entire region may be shifted to another point in the space-time continuum. Then we'll just make sure to be somewhere else when the shift happens. No problem. But we couldn't even activate the device. <laughs> You're missing the initializer and stabilizer, right? Where are they? Calm down. Your ass. They should be stored in one of the security level eight rooms on floor B three. Card. Very good, Doc. Now you understand our situation. We live, you live. Hang your head, fucker. <laughs> They locked him in the closet. Okay. I'm all set to whip up a program that will send a stream of the third energy into the vortex. I'll keep an eye on the, the doctor. Regina, you go find those devices and overload the third energy. Remember, they're in a security level A room on floor B3. Hold up. That whole floor is crawling with dinosaurs, including that T-Rex. Let's get this situation under control before charging off. Here, take this. Rocket launcher? The disc Uzi? contains the draft plans for the initializer and stabilizer. I stumbled over them while searching through the database. Fortunately, the room where the parts are 